Good day everybody, it's Corey again here with some PSP Runner tips and tricks. Today I'm going to talk about the import function within PHP Runner and how easy it is to set up and small little things to watch out for. In my particular case I'm going to show you that uh, the import allowed duplicate values and what I did to fix that. So this is the table I was given in an Excel sheet to import into the web application. Basically straightforward uh, table I'm going to import. It's got six columns and nothing much to it. So I am working with uh, SQL Server. So uh, all I did in this case, I created a table that it looks exactly the, like the table I'm about to import. So this is what it looks like. This is the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. All I've done here, I created this exact table, except for one difference, which doesn't really matter, but that's how I did it in the beginning, is that I added an extra column uh, with I say rec pay ID. My intention was to use that column to uh, uniquely identify each row. Let's create this quickly in a PHP Runner. You will see here is the table I created already uh, a view for that table over there. Uh, I select all the output all the columns. Right here on the list page I am not interested in the print uh, page and also maybe not a export page, but I'm going to definitely need an import page and a list page. On the right here, which are the key columns? I then realize at this point a combination of claim link and CP number of payments will uniquely identify this record. So that record ID that I created in the table is really not necessary at this point because in PHP Runner it asks me here which are the key columns. So the key columns are first of all the claim link and then also CP number of payments. Those two I had to tick to make sure that whenever PHP Runner find a record uploading with a combination of those two columns exactly the same, it's rather going to do an update instead of an insert. On this page over here, I'm going to untick the rec pay ID because it's something that I'm not going to need anymore, but the rest is pretty much needed. Just building the project quickly, and that is as simple as that. Okay, so the project is uploaded now and uh, let me show you what it looks like. Obviously we saw that the table is still all empty and uh, I'm going to perform an import quickly. Okay, so how to import this now? Click here, import. It asks me to drag and to drop a file on here and I'm just going to drag this file on here that it's basically asking me to map my columns. Since my columns was named the same in the database than it is in this Excel sheet, it automatically creates the link. Everything looks good to me and I'm going to say import data. It gives me a little report here. 76 out of 76 records processed successfully. So let's just go and look at the database table and see if those 76 records here they are nicely imported and the beauty of this is now it was really quick and easy to create an import function like this now technically to test this if you upload the same file again it must update all these records instead of adding them again let's do that going to import Take the exact same file. It looks good again, like before. Let's import it. Now there's a problem. It tells me again 76 records were added. 
and I expected to see zero records added but 76 updated. If we go to the list, you will see that I now have duplicate values in here. Look at that for instance, that's a good example. And going to the database table, there was 76 records in here. Execute that script again. Now I have 152 records in here, which means something went wrong. And if you go back to PHP Runner, well, I told it that the key is actually claim link and CP number of payments, the combination of that. So the key in PHP Runner is 100% correct. However, it still does not pick up the duplicates. Now the problem here is not within PHP Runner. It's within your database itself. I'm going to truncate this table. So why did this not work? It's basically because this table has absolutely no keys defined. So first of all, I need to go and go into the design mode of this table. The first thing that cannot be empty is a claim link. And the second one that cannot be empty is my CP number of payments. Those two fields I have to undo the allow null values. I'm going to do a new query over here for, because for me it's simply faster. So I'm going to add a constraint and I'm going to call it a PK for primary key and just CL for claim link. Just something that I can identify myself with later on. And uh, the primary keys are columns, claim link, comma, column, CP number of payments. A combination of those two columns will uniquely identify the record. So executing that, it tells me here the command completed successfully. So let's do the upload again. Import. I'm going to take that same file, put it in here, import the data. It will give me now something interesting. I have one record process with errors. But there is 75 out of the 76 records processed successfully. And 75 records added. One record processed with errors. And that one record, if you look at the actual Excel sheet quickly, the first row is pretty much empty. And I said that the claim link is, no, is a not null value. Means, meaning we do not allow null values on the claim link and this is the record that failed. Now in my case I really don't care, I don't want that record in the data because it's not a real record. So it's for me all good and nice going and looking quickly at the database itself you will see that record is the one that's missing. And we have 75 rows. If you look at the right corner here at the bottom, 75 rows in this database table now. Let's upload the same table again. Go to import. The exact same table. Import. And that is more or less what I expected to see in the first place. 75 out of 76 records processed successfully. Zero records were added. 75 of them were updated. And one record processed with errors. So the important thing here is to set up the key in both PHP Runner as well as in the database. Then everything will work fine. So hopefully this was helping somebody. Thank you very much for Xline Soft for this amazing software. Please go and visit their website and obtain your copy if you haven't done so yet. And thanks again for watching. Till next time.